Hi guys, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So let me set the scene. You're out in the wilderness, maybe on top of a mountain, maybe you're on a deserted island, or maybe you're out at sea on a vessel. Now your goal is to set up a portable amateur radio station, and one of the modes that you'll want to operate would be FTA. Now you've got power, antennas, and a rig, but there's one thing that might break your QSO streak and that's time. Now let's talk about why timekeeping is critical and how a simple device like this could save your off-grid FTA operations. So FTA needs your computer's clock to be accurate within plus and minus one second. Now even a two second drift can prevent you from decoding signals or even being heard when you transmit. Now what we're looking at here is JTDX on the left running FTA. Now this is connected to my Yaesu FT710 radio, which you can see on the screen on the top right. Now on the bottom right, the white text is showing the live date and time from my computer. Below this, for demonstration purposes, is the current time being pulled from the internet in real time. Now listen to what I just said then, that live time is being pulled from the internet. Of course, you won't have internet if you're out in the wild. Now, FDA transmits in timed blocks every 15 seconds. JTDX is fully configured correctly, but we're not decoding any signals whatsoever. Now, the reason for this is because JTDX is looking at the computer live time reading and basing its decoding window from the computer's time. The green progress bar here should start from the left and go up every 15 seconds. And if we look at the waterfall from the radio, we can see that the gap between the FT8 transmissions is happening before JTDX has sampled the whole of that timed transmission. So this means no decodes. Now, of course, if you're using this at home or have internet wherever you are in the world, then most operating systems can pull the exact date and time from something we call a network time protocol server. Most operating systems will have this set up by default and it just does it automatically for you. So if you're out in the wilderness, on a mountain or out at sea, trying to operate FT8 during your de-expedition, but your computer's time is not accurate, then you'll have zero success at making contacts, just like the example here. So what's the solution? Well, you could potentially make your own network time server using a simple GPS and a Raspberry Pi. Using a GPS provides a pulse per second or PPS accuracy. And as we know that GPS signals are available in every corner of the world, even in the most remote locations, then this would work. Now the alternative would be to purchase something like this. Now this costs around $60 and can be powered from a 12 volt source. Now it does come with a mains adapter if you want to run it from a main supply, but you can just run it from a 12 volt battery. It also comes with a fairly decent GPS antenna, which actually works really well from my testing. In fact, I had a GPS lock within just a few minutes, and that was with the GPS antenna sat indoors. Now, there's an Ethernet socket for connecting to your computer or router on your network, a power socket for the 12 volt supply, and two status LEDs. One is for power, and the other is to show that the NTP server is ready to be used i.e. it has a GPS lock. Of course, if you're out in the wild, it's unlikely you'll have a network running, so you'll need to connect an Ethernet cable between your computer and this NTP server. Now, I'm on Windows, but to set it up, you need to go into your network settings and assign a static IP address to your computer. The NTP server has a default static IP address of 192.168.0.100, and it looks for a gateway on 192.168.0.1. So just assign an IP address to your computer that starts with 192.168.0 and then any number up to 255, but not 100, which is the NTP server IP address. Now, once you're set up, you'll be able to access the NTP server's configuration page. 
Now, there's not really much to set up here, but you can change its IP address if you want to, or change it to DHCP. And that's for when using with a router, when it pulls its IP address automatically. You can even check the status as well to make sure everything is running as expected and it's seeing satellites. Now back onto the operating system of the computer, we now need to tell the operating system to pull its automatic time updates from the GPS enabled NTP server that we just plugged in. You just need to locate the setting on your operating system and on Windows 11, it looks like this. Change the time server to the IP address of the NTP server that you've just set up and then press update. Your computer will now request the time and date from that NTP server. And if all goes well, you'll suddenly start to decode those FT8 signals because JTDX is now sampling those packets at the correct time interval. Now ignore the internet time on the bottom right of the screen. That's just loaded from a web app, which is not actually connected to the internet because, well, we're not connected to an internet connection. We're only connected to the NTP server via Ethernet, essentially trying to emulate what would happen if it was out in the wild. Of course, if you were to use a router out in the wild at your remote location, then you could share that NTP server time data with anyone on the network. You would just need to change where the operating system looks for the NTP server. Now, what you also see here is on JTDX, where the green bar is going from left to right, that when it gets to the end, you'll see that pause in transmission on the waterfall of my 710. Obviously, that's just the visual aid, but to see that it's actually working, you'll just start to get lots of decodes appearing in the window. Anyway, guys, that's just another little gadget that can assist you in your ham radio travels, something that some of us might not even think about. Now, this isn't only for FT8. There are other timed digital modes as well, like FT65 and FT4 and even Whisper. So if you run any of those modes and you want to use them while out and about, where well, you're going to have no internet connection, your computer's time could possibly be wrong, then something like this could save your bacon. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments. Now, I'll leave a link to this one that I got from Banggood down in the video description. If you want to check it out for more information, or maybe you want to buy one. Until the next video, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.